Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. The individuals depicted have been arrested but not convicted at the time of story postings. This information does not infer or imply guilt of any actions or activity other than their arrest. We make no warranty or guarantee as to the accuracy of this data. Welcome back. You're watching the WHKY News, and this is the Crime Report. Ralph Mangum here. WHKY's Ariana Mack has the details on a meth trafficking arrest in Taylorsville. A Taylorsville man has been charged with felony drug offenses. 42-year-old Cortez Lamar Rogers of Taylorsville was arrested by Alexander County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with felony counts of trafficking methamphetamine, possession with intent, to manufacture, sell, and deliver meth, and maintaining a vehicle, dwelling, or place for controlled substance. He's also charged with misdemeanor counts of possession of drug paraphernalia and resisting a public officer. According to the North Carolina Department of Adult Correction Offender Public Information website, Cortez Lamar Rogers has multiple convictions listed dating back to 2006 in Catawba and Burke counties. His most recent conviction was in July 2017 in Catawba County for felony counts of being a habitual felon and possession with intent to sell Schedule 1 controlled substance. He served approximately four and a half years in prison prior to his release in February 2022. Rogers was taken into custody last Thursday by the Alexander County Sheriff's Office. Following the arrest, Rogers was detained in the Alexander County Detention Center under a secured bond of $100,000. As of this report, he remained in jail and is expected to appear in district court on August 12th. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. WHKY's Rob Eastwood has the details on an arrest in an Alexander County drug case. The suspect in this case was arrested following a traffic accident. Police say he fled the scene but was apprehended. He faces multiple charges, including trafficking methamphetamine. As of the time I'm filing this report, the suspect remains in jail. A court date is scheduled in August. 41-year-old Shane Thomas Hammer of Taylorsville was arrested by Alexander County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with felony counts of maintaining a vehicle, dwelling, or place for controlled substance, possession with intent to manufacture, sell, or deliver methamphetamine, and trafficking methamphetamine. He's also charged with possession of drug paraphernalia, child abuse, and resisting arrest. Hammer was arrested last Thursday following an incident that evening. The North Carolina State Highway Patrol and the Alexander County Sheriff's Office investigated a report of a minor traffic accident. According to the arrest report, Hammer ran from the crash scene but was later detained. Hammer was incarcerated in the Alexander County Detention Center following the arrest under a secured bond of $100,000. As of the time I'm filing this report, Hammer remains in jail under that same bond amount. He was scheduled to make a court appearance on Monday. His next district court date is scheduled for August 19th in Taylorsville. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Hammer time. Thank you, Rob. Two people are facing charges in connection with separate business break-ins that occurred in the Denver and Stanley areas. 59-year-old Charles Raymond Stansel of Stanley has been arrested and charged with two felony counts each of breaking and entering, larceny after breaking and entering, and possession of stolen goods. He was also served with an outstanding warrant from Gaston County for breaking and entering, larceny after breaking and entering, and safe cracking. 48-year-old Savoy Star of Charlotte is facing one felony count each of breaking and entering, larceny after breaking and entering, and possession of stolen goods. At last report, Star had not been found or arrested. One break-in occurred on June 10th at a restaurant near the 500 block of Brentwood Road in Denver. The suspect entered through a door after hours and stole an electronic gaming machine. The other break-in occurred on July 10th near the 6,000 block of Old Plank Road. In that case, the suspects entered the business after hours and stole an ATM that contained several thousand dollars in cash. During a follow-up on an unrelated case, deputies found a vehicle and trailer used in the break-ins and part of an ATM outside a residence near the 2000 block of Cardinal Loop in Stanley. 
Lincoln County detectives responded and executed a search warrant at the residence where they found and seized evidence. The stolen ATM and the gaming machine from both break-ins were recovered. Based on their investigation, detectives identified Stancil and Starr as the suspects in both incidents. Stancil was arrested and jailed under a $30,000 secured bond. An appearance in a Gaston County courtroom was scheduled Tuesday with a Lincoln County court date set for August 8th. The investigations are ongoing and additional charges may be pending. Anyone with information regarding the whereabouts of Savoy Star should contact Detective Probst at 704-732-9050, Lincoln County Communications 704-735-8202, or Lincolnton Lincoln County Crime Stopper 704-732. 7368909 and 40-year-old Ashley Nicole Baker of Hotel Drive in Hickory was arrested by Hickory Police last Thursday on one felony count of identity theft and misdemeanor counts of possession of drug paraphernalia and resisting delaying or obstructing a public officer. Baker was taken into custody without incident at about 9.15 Thursday morning at a gas station and convenience store on 1st Avenue Southwest in Hickory. She was placed in the Catawba County Detention Facility with bonds set at $8,500 secured. She remained in jail as of Tuesday morning with bond currently listed at $4,000. A first appearance in district court was scheduled last Friday. No additional Catawba County court dates are currently listed. However, Baker will appear in a Lenore courtroom on July 29th on Mr demeanor larceny charges. And that's your crime report. Thanks for joining us. For WHKY, I'm Ralph Mangum reminding you to keep it clean and to keep it legal.